2024 is the year of artificial intelligence for better or for worse. But one thing is for sure, we all should have a better understanding of what AI is and how it works so that we can add it to our creative workflows. The problem is that it's confusing. The barrier to entry is relatively high and mostly out of the traditional way and scope of working that we have as creatives. We're familiar with Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Illustrator, and a bunch of other established creative apps. MSI are here to change that with MSI's AI Artist through their new AI Engine software. So what is AI Engine? AI Engine is a combination of multiple different features that MSI has added to their notebooks as well as their desktop PCs that help make your life just a little bit easier. For example, for gamers, instead of having to fine tune settings yourself to get the optimal gaming experience, AI can do that for you. This is not only on the display settings uh, side of things, but it can even change your display profiles, sounds, and so much more to ensure that you get the most out of the game that you're currently playing, when you're playing it, and how you're playing. The idea is to make your machine more intelligent for how you use it. The era in which you have to struggle to get the most out of your games is over. You just simply have to launch the game and the AI engine takes care of the rest. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of the components of MSI's AI engine. It's MSI's generative image app. It's called AI Artist. We're gonna have a look at how it works and how the practical applications, what they are for AI art, whether that's for creative inspiration, to help expand your art that you've already created, or even to use it in videos like this, if that's what you wanna do. But before we start, there are a couple of things that you need to be able to do or to have to run this software. And the first is a 13th generation Intel chipset or newer, as well as an MSI NVIDIA RTX 4050 or newer that is up to date with drivers and a minimum of 16 gigs of RAM. And for this video, I'm gonna be using the MSI Stealth 16 Mercedes edition. Check this out. It's got all of these AI features pre-installed. They sent this over for me to check this out. So thanks MSI, it's a beast. AI Artist is ostensibly a reskin of Stable Diffusion with a load of exciting features thrown in. Installing Stable Diffusion, the open source AI image generator can be quite complex. It's a task that I've attempted a couple of times and I realized for the most part that it actually wasn't worth the struggle. You have to run Python scripts and if you're not into coding, it's a little bit confusing. So MSI handling that complicated and migraine inducing process is already so much better. The tool also has a really clean and easy to use interface. Plus you have multiple ways to generate images thanks to stable diffusion that's running underneath the hood. You can use text to image, image to image, or even image to text. AI Artist allows you to create different types of images in different formats by giving the tool a prompt. And as with most other tools out there, the better the prompt, the better the result. And this one is no different. However, there are a few differences that are worth noting. The first being the fact that it runs locally on your machine so that you don't need any sort of uh, internet connection to run AI Artist. You'll find like Bing photos or Bing image generator, whatever, you need that kind of you need an internet connection. And all of the artwork that you generate on your device will be stored locally, not in the cloud, which is great. This helps keep you safe as there are no online risks or data leaks that can happen. And because you don't need an internet connection to actually use this or operate it, you can use this wherever you are, whether that's you know, on an airplane or in an Uber, or even just during load shedding if you're in South Africa uh, and you don't have any backups for your internet, you just, you need, it to, you need it to work. Secondly, and definitely one of my favorite things is the fact that you can export your images as PSDs, which are Photoshop files with layers, which is actually insane. You can generate an image and have more control over the post processing. For example, let's say you like the background that was generated with one of your AI images, but uh, the subject doesn't look quite great, then you can simply export it as a PSD, use the background and then replace the subject. All this without needing to do any sort of generative fill or in Photoshop or scaling to hide the subject that just didn't turn out great. And with Photoshop's new suite of tools, you know, with Firefly built in, it really does make using AI artists a really powerful tool in your creative artillery. Artillery. Do you, do you, see, do you see what I did there? It's lame, okay. So let's get into it. To get started, you need to choose the optimizer that you want to use. And by default, it is the Tensor RT. But if you want to add plugins and styles 
to generate images with a specific style, a, a specific visual treatment, then you're going to need to choose either PyTorch or Xformers. AI Artist supports LoRa Tensor Files, so you'll be able to have access to an entire library of user-generated and already trained styles that you can just plug in uh, using these. They're called Tensor Files. You get a lot of these for free from the community from civet.ai. I recommend just going through that and finding the styles that you want to replicate with the work that you're doing. Then you can select the number of images that you want to generate with each prompt. It's always great to select more than one, especially if you are trying to generate an image for a specific purpose because you're going to be getting different uh, multiple different iterations and you should be able to find an image that you like much faster or at least an image that you can then use as a reference to generate more images that are similar. Next you need to select the aspect ratio and this is going to be determined by what you need your image for that you're creating. So if you want to use a thumbnail or a desktop wallpaper something that's wide you may want to choose something that's three by two. I preferably like to choose the one by one because it's the highest resolution image and I can then edit that with those PSDs in Photoshop using Firefly. So if I need to change the format, I'd rather do that uh, with more information in the image and do that in Photoshop instead. Next will be step. And what this means is the number of different algorithms and processes that the AI uses to generate the image that you are, that are prompted, the steps that it takes. So basically the higher the number, the more complex the image will be that will be generated. Below that, you're gonna find something called seed. And this is something that not a lot of people might be familiar with, but let me try and explain. In the realm of AI, a seed acts as a set of numbers guiding the generation of an image. Essentially, it kickstarts the random number generator serving as a starting off point. The AI model undergoes training by analyzing input data, aiming to discern patterns and connections among the data points. Once it's been trained, it gains the ability to produce new data resembling the training set, leveraging the learned patterns and relationships. The beauty of using a random seed lies in its ability to churn out different images each time, even with consistent input values. Should you input the same seed, prompt, and settings, you'll constantly receive the same image output. While altering the seed here in the artistic algorithm might not have a significant impact, it can shift the focal points within the generated image. By default, you're gonna find out that the seed here is set to minus one, but you can add a seed number there if you wanna get the same image result as before or keep it on minus one for completely different results as minus one is gonna be used as, a, as, a, as an input for a different seed for every iteration, which is randomly generated, like I said. And lastly, you've got your prompt. This is where you can either use a text-based prompt or image-based prompt or even a combination of the two to get the best results for your image. Like I said before, the, the more detailed that your prompt is, the better. So make sure that you get your input correct. Try giving it the idea that you want, the style, the colors, and everything else that you feel is important to get the closest matching results to the idea of the image that you have inside your head. So let's try a few different options for some AI art. So as you can see, MSI has made it really easy to not only use their own AI artist tool, but also made it easy to then use that as either a base for your own work or as inspiration for some other art that you may be making. Remember, AI should be used responsibly. This, this isn't a tool that you should use to create artwork verbatim that you sell or, or sell off for stuff that, is, that you create randomly on your own, but rather it should be used in conjunction with your art and, and inside your creative workflow to, to help create better art or even just thumbnails for videos. This should most definitely be used as propaganda for vegan burgers, but for the most part, just make sure that you always create art that's completely unique. This forms as part of your inspiration, your Pinterest board, a launching off point for creative work. And as you can see, a lot of the stuff is, it's, it's the beginning parts of it, it's the basics. If you guys wanna play around with the MSI AI artist tool, I have a link that I've left down below in the description for you to go and uh, either get more info if you wanna see how it works or to download the tool if you have the applicable hardware. Of course, you, you need that. That's, that's how you need it to work, so. I don't know how long I've got to hang on to this, but it will probably be like a week or two. So I might dabble a little bit more. Anyway, happy creating. Use AI responsibly. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.